Forget the long paddock, this is more like the urban paddock. A farmer from the state's central west has found a unique solution to the drought, grazing his cattle within the western Sydney parklands. It's a novel concept with some unexpected benefits. Here's Western Sydney reporter Jessica Kidd. Central West farmer Andrew Walter faced a tough decision as the drought worsened. Sell his stock or find a creative solution. So he approached the Western Sydney Parklands Trust to start grazing on vacant blocks on the city's outskirts. We can preserve a good line of, um, of young heifers, which means that uh, come the end of the drought, and it will end, um, we'll be there at the head of the queue with, uh, well, with, with calves. The short-term solution is known as crash grazing and has environmental benefits. We get nutrients back into the soil um, and it, it basically keeps the land used rather than sitting there fallow and, and getting overgrown with weeds. The cattle feed on invasive weeds like African olive and blackberry and even reduce the risk of bushfires. It's a cost-effective way of managing the parklands which stretch between Blacktown and Liverpool. It's 5,500 hectares, which is one of the biggest urban parks in Australia and certainly one of the biggest in the world. It's a real challenge to be able to manage, rehabilitate and restore something of that scale. Crash grazing is also being used to prepare the land for market farms like this one, which will eventually form part of a farming precinct here at Horsley Park. Cambodian market farmer Nara Sun rents his land off the trust and cleared it by hand. He says a couple of cows would have been useful. Before I start uh, farming on Sydney Parkland, look very messy. Bulls, this is a dumping area, very dirty ground. The trust wants to add sheep, goats and even alpacas to the mix and is urging other farmers looking for pasture to get in touch. Jessica Kidd, ABC News.